It's Friday, December 5th, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. Up first, now this time last year, Nipsey Hussle rewrote the rules of grassroots marketing when he sold 1,000 copies of his Crenshaw mixtape for $100 each. It was part of his Proud to Pay campaign. It was one of the coolest things that's ever happened in hip hop. Now here's the crazy part. This week, Nipsey announced that he's selling his next project, Mailbox Money, for get this, $1,000 a copy. Speaking with MTV, Hustle said, it's all original music. Being honest, these ain't mixtapes, they're albums. These original songs, concepts, the biggest producers, the biggest rappers in the game are part of it and bringing creativity to it. I don't want to devalue it by calling it a mixtape. It's really just music, more conversations from our people. Now here's the wrinkle. This time, Nipsey's only selling 100 copies for $1,000 each, as opposed to last time when it was 1,000 copies for $100 each. I personally think it's gonna be a lot of his artist friends who come to the table and buy these $1,000 copies, which will make the program look like a success. But what do you think? Can Nipsey capture lightning in the bottle two years in a row? Let us know. Next up, the Zulu Nation reports that three more high-powered entertainers have joined the peace organization. Nas, Big Boy, and get this, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon. The Zulu's Minister of Information, Kwadir Shakur, says that Jimmy Fallon is one of the first entertainers to join the newly announced honorary Zulu chapter. All Hip Hop reported that. Q-Tip also announced Big Boy's induction into the organization over Twitter. Now within the past week, Nas, Big Boy, Lil Wayne, and Jimmy Fallon have joined the peace organization founded by Africa Bambata in 1973. This is extremely powerful in a season unfortunately loaded with police brutality. Speaking of which, Crooked Eye, I mean uh, King Crooked, stopped by DXHQ and shared his thoughts on hip hop's role in fighting police brutality. Roll the clip, Jim. It has to probably be organized in a, in a way, man. You know, like we are in a different, we're in a different fucking era now. You know, um, I don't know if the guys at the top even have it in them to organize like that. You know, but we, I think if hip hop organizes, I think we could change a lot of things in the community. You know, I've seen it. Um, back when they was doing same gang when I was a baby, you know, my bigger brothers was all gang banging, my uncles and cousins and all that, and they, they was with that movement. Like, you know what, this is some shit that needs to change. You know what I'm saying? Um, hip hop sparked that, you know, self-destruction, Chris did that. Um, you know, now it's like, what can you do when you know, the top men is only talking about twerk. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't really got it in their mind. They don't care about Mike Brown until it's them because it can't be you. You know what I'm saying? It can't be you. And it's like, we, we really need to organize and do something about that. Everybody's not willing to take action, you know? And I just think we should though, man, because it's a shame. And it's not just the fact that it's a black thing, because that's what a lot of people come on my timeline with. Like when I say rest in peace to Robin Williams, nobody has a problem. Yeah. But as soon as I put rest in peace Mike Brown, oh, he's just doing that because he's black, man. That's that bullshit. Like, really, dog? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's just a, it's a problem for everybody, man. You know what I mean? This is everybody's problem. We can't allow police to come kill the youth man we can't do that so i don't know hopefully you know somebody will grow some balls any of you rappers out there want to do it i get on the front line with you grow a pair let's get out there well said crooked mcs need to be way more involved in these type of issues but what do you think let us know in the comment section breaking news nj.com reports that beanie siegel was shot in the torso following a confrontation that took place this morning in pleasantville new jersey Police Chief Jose Ruiz says that Siegel is in serious condition. Those are the details that are available at this time. Check the site for more updates. And as always, for music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.